the uh, Iran sports on the court. I want you to know that I got to abort. Nah, I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. So I'm going to break it down for you, my dear, or for my fella, or for the ladies. Don't you understand the NBA is getting crazy? All-Star weekend is coming, you know. Even Drummond's just playing now, yo. So let's look at what's happening. I mean, look, when it's all done, you're going to have about 25, 26 games left. In the West, yo, the Warriors are only a half a game up. 43 and 13, 42 and 13. This might be the year where they're more, mo most vulnerable to getting a, not getting out of the West. Don't think the Spurs can do it without Kawhi, but, you know, the Rockets, I think that they, you know, they've got a shot. You know, they definitely have a shot. And maybe that first round battle or second round battle between the Minnesota Thunder winner could be something serious. But, you know, what's really interesting is they just got Joe Johnson and Brandon White right from the buyouts. Rebounder, shot blocker, Joe Johnson can shoot and pass, spread the floor. Um, perfect fit, I think, for what they need and what, what they can do. It was great to see Dwayne Wade in Miami help them win. And basically, you know, Wade County is back. Now, when you're looking at the West, I mean the East, Toronto smacked Boston last week, but we all saw Sunday. Toronto took care. I mean, Boston got <laughs> handled by Cavaliers and the new squad. So even though they're third now, I think Cleveland moves back into being the favorite in the Eastern Conference. Let's be honest, 49 points from their four guys. You only had five from um, uh, the young athlete and, and Larry Nance Jr. who had a nice dunk. But Hood and Clarkson, 19, 15, 12, George Hill, 49 points from those four guys. And wow, on the road, their first game, it looked like they acclimated really well. I think overall, they're going to do great. It'll take time. Then, you know, even the last week of the season, three, four games left, you'll think Kevin Love will be back and they'll have to figure that out. But at least you'll have LeBron, Love, and instead of a big three, then you'll have LeBron, Love, and then, you know, a bunch of good Robins, right? So maybe LeBron and like another all-star in love. And then, you know, these other guys are not all-stars, but Rodney Hood, Clarkson, the veteran George Hill, who's been in what, 83 or 63 playoff games, all those years in Indiana, you know, even last year in Utah, him and Rodney Hood. So they have experience. The question is in the East, can anybody upset somebody. Will Detroit get in? Can Philly, Miami, or Indiana, you know, pull off an upset? You know, if Milwaukee and Washington play, if John Wall's not back or healthy, and he probably will be, but still with Bledsoe and the Greek freak, uh, Milwaukee's dangerous because I think Milwaukee could beat Washington. And then if Toronto's the number one seed, Milwaukee could beat Toronto easily. Easy peasy for sheezy, my nazy, don't stay greasy. Don't you understand this world is a peasin'? Uh, some of the uh, wrong heathens is so sick, you see. A trillion dollars for infrastructure, B. I don't know, we just spending away so that debt will increase for our great great grandchildren every day. So let's talk about college hoops. Um, great upsets, great games. Surprising, Virginia's number one. They lost to Virginia Tech in overtime. We know Villanova had a rough week and lost. Michigan State, they beat Purdue, so they move up. So, you know, good for them. It's going to be interesting to see how Xavier, Purdue, some of these other teams, how talented they are and how they can do come tournament. Texas Tech, um, you know, Gonzaga, Duke, North Carolina's moving up, which is good. They've been up and down all year. I guess the question is, who really, you know, wants it in college basketball? You know, it's good to see a team like St. John's be able to beat Marquette, Villanova, and Duke, but can they do enough to make the tournament? They have to go on a crazy run, you know, so we'll see how that happens. Anyway, I think it's going to be fascinating, and it's all about NBA and college hoops. Real quick, though, in the, you know, in the NFL, I think what's kind of cool is you saw Frank Wright get a chance and get a job 
And really, being the Eagles OC, now being the head coach of the Colts, will he be the man? You know? And is Andrew Luck ready? That's the question. You know, will he be healthy? But I think it's a good hire. Happy for him. Yo, Terps. And all that stuff. So, anyway, I'm in. I'm out. Got to see what's going on with my kids. And, uh... It's hip-hop and sports, baby. All right? Peace.